Hello everyone, this is Yakuro with another UE4 tutorial. In this episode, we will look into the UProperty macro and cover the following specifiers. Blueprint getter and Blueprint setter. Those two specifiers are similar to a Blueprint read only and Blueprint read write, so they add the getter and setter functions for your property. The main difference is with Blueprint getter and setter, we can write our own custom getter and setter functions. So let's make an example. Let's assume we have a property in our actor class that represents mm, the maximum energy or something. And this property we like to expose to the editor level and we want to add the getter function now. Blueprint, oops, uh, getter. After that, we have to specify the function name we're going to use. I'll make my life easy with finding a name and just call it get max energy. You can use whatever name you want. So it doesn't have to match to the properties um, name. The next is we're going to implement the function now. Uh, so return value should be float here. The name was get max energy. And here really important, we have to use the u function macro with the same uh, specifier name. So blueprint getter. Let's imp uh, write the implementation here. Return max energy. And here we can initialize this. Okay, so that's it. Let's compile. I hope I didn't do any typos. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's switch to the editor and create the blueprint version of our class. Open. And here in the event graph, we're going to use our property. Here is max energy. And now you can see when you drag it to the event graph, we have the getter function, which we implemented in the C++ level now. We have to drag this into the level, of course. And if we start, we will see 450. And to show you that it is really using uh, our own getter function, let's do this. So we will add a random value, not random value. So I'm making just one number up, so 2.0. So when we use the getter function, we will use the default value, oops, plus this 2.0. And then of course, when we start, we should see 452. If my math skills are correct. <laughs> start. 452. So that is the evidence that we are really using our own getter function. Okay, so let's get rid of this for now. The next is the setter function we want to implement. Blueprint setter. The same goes here too. So um, let's find a function name. Let's say set max energy. Super creative. <laughs> Again, u function macro, this time blueprint setter. This function, however, has no return value. So void, then set max energy. 
and of course the parameter is going to be a float max energy come on hmm? it's not creating the implementation it took a while uh yeah max energy in max energy so simple implementation and compile again almost done let's switch back to the editor so let's drag this property again to the event graph and you can see we have also the setter now let's set this value to 12 and print out And we can see the 12 here. Now there's one thing I like to mention. Um, the value you're getting from here is not the value you're writing, uh, you're setting here. So um, when you drag here from this pin, uh, what you do is actually you're using our uh, custom getter function. And to prove that, let's make an example. So we put here 12. Let's modify our getter function. Let's put here three. And when we start now our example again, we should see here 15 to show you that um, the value you drag from here is going to use the getter function, not just this value which is represented. And it has to be like that, else it wouldn't be conform. So yeah, 15. So that's cool. Um, yeah, so now the question would be, when are you using those two specifiers? Um, one simple uh, usage would be, um, I do that sometimes, um, if I say that this property is in a private section, and when you would use only blueprint read write for example to create them automatically the get and set the function you will see that the unreal header tool or unreal build tool will complain that you can't use that so you cannot use blueprint read write for a property that is private and here you can see this already blueprint read write should not be used with private so this would force you to make it protected or um, public and if you really don't want to do that you might have your reasons you can use the new specifiers so if you do this and compile you will see that it will compile and of course it will work So that works and you, you don't have to change, um, to, to change uh, your property in this case, either to the protected level or public. That's nice thing. And another would be, for example, um, that, um, okay, maybe this maximum energy is not a good example, but that the representation, what you return here as maximum energy is internally um, somehow calculated and that you have to update that value here in a function or in this section here and then return it to the uh, blueprint level um, 
And yeah, I think there's, there might be or there are so many examples. And I think that is going to be a homework for everyone just to come up when to use those uh, new specifiers. From my side, I think that is enough. So if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode.